Chessenden. You should have received a report from Captain Clark by now. Yes, I know. That's why I'm so worried. Every Secret Service agent assigned to Aura Grandy, including Clark's brother, has disappeared. Perhaps I'll have to send more troops there after all. Well, that would stop the raids on our gold shipments. But it wouldn't uncover the secret Confederate organization at Oro Grande, which is backing the Raiders. No. You're right. Only a man like Captain Clark can do that. You sure got here just in time. He's riding into a dead end, but don't know it. Here to Captain Steve Clark. Then ride on back and see how Braddock's making out with Clark's brother on that stage. We're going back to Ora Grande. Chances chance has Jim Clark got to reach Sacramento alive? Good chance, Kathy, a good chance. Of course, that last wound he got was a bad one, but then he's young and strong, and that's in his favor. He's got to live, Doc, he's got to. He's the only one who knows the truth about the Raiders. Head for town? Yeah. Say, and we spotted the cavalry back away too. All right, boys, we're on our way. Jim, did you make it? Uh, Jim. Jim. Disappointed I am. You know, I've been expecting fireworks ever since Captain Clark buried his brother. Maybe you ain't looking the right direction. Why, what are you getting at, Bill? Have you seen Kathy around here lately? Where's Idaho and Captain Clark? 
What them three up to? They're watching Morell's Golden Eagle. Golden Eagle? Well, who are they after? I wish I knew, Dan. I sure do. But I'm certain of one thing. You were mentioning fireworks. Well, they're lighting the fuse. Saw them two first day, Steve. I got everyone spotted now who uses that back door. Yes, I guess this part of our job's all done. It's all right by me. How's Kathy making out? I'm going to see her after I leave here. Sure too bad Jim didn't tell us who to look for instead of where to look. Well, any trail's better than none, and somebody in there knows about the Raiders. They're easy to pick off, Mr. Morrell. You're still watching the place. You say leave alone. I don't get it. It ain't natural. What do they see? Nothing out of the ordinary. Exactly. But since Captain Clark reports no evidence against us to Washington, I shall be in my office, too, if you want me. Do not be impatient. <laughs> I'm just going to get somebody else to fill in. Customers, Hank. It takes more to be impatient, Braddock. Sometimes it ain't at that, Bart. Cut for the deal. Anything new? The same people coming and going. I'd say there were about four you ought to investigate. Yes, Idaho has his mind made up, too. What about Alex Morrell? Uh, if Jim had suspected Morrell, he'd have mentioned him instead of the Golden Eagle. Frankly, I've never liked Morrell. And Miss Dessard is certainly a different kind of an entertainer from what Oro Grandy's had before. Well, don't worry, Kathy. I'm not overlooking him. Clay Randolph. Of all the people I know, I never expected to see him here. We were classmates at West Point. He's a captain, too. Why isn't he in uniform? This isn't the place to wear it, Kathy. It's gray. Confederate? Maybe he's the man you're looking for. Well, if he is, he's also responsible for the deaths of your father and my brother. Stay here, Kathy. following him and he must not go to the office now. If I were better, I think you're playing that for me. I was, Captain Randolph. I am Trina Dessard. Oh, yes, Miss Dessard. I've heard about you. What's the matter? The Golden Eagle is being watched by a Wells Fargo detective and by Captain Clark, United States Secret Service. Steve Clark? Yes. Do you know him? We were classmates at West Point. Really? Well, don't look around. Here comes your classmate now. What's it? What's wrong now? Captain Clark just came in, sir. Oh, from bad to worse. Randolph and Clark. Both fools, yet both dangerous. We'll wait. Why, Steve Clark, you old horse thief. What are you doing here? Hunting Confederates. The gold raiders and the men behind them. Yeah, I've heard about that. I hope you don't find them. Well, at least we're still honest with each other. What are you doing here? Well, not what you suspect. You see, we're not official enemies anymore. I was mustered out for wounds after Cold Harbor. Oh, well, Mr. Side, where did you meet Captain Randolph? Here, just before you came. He does his own presenting, and I do mine. Stop in at Wells Fargo before you leave, Clay. I want you to meet Colonel Sewell. No, I'll go now if you wish. No, it's your own convenience. Well, thanks, Steve. I'll be there. You are not a convincing liar, Captain. 
This way, please. Captain Clark will surely suspect us now. Captain Randolph and he were classmates at West Point. You see, Captain, why well, I've always discouraged your coming to Oro Grande. Had you warned me, I wouldn't have come. You're not supposed to furnish me with part of the information collected by your spy ring, but all of it. Why don't you? Well, as your government pays me, it's up to me to satisfy you. Wherein have I failed? Steve Clark's brother, for example. I thought his name was Jeff Logan until after his military funeral. What did it matter? He was a spy. All the more reason to question him instead of killing him. Incidentally, I don't like Braddock's dirty tactics. You tend to forget, Captain, we are operating in enemy territory. That's no excuse for brutality. What about Steve Clark? Oh, I think I can now guess him. Well, in such matters, I'll do as you consider best. And now, my dear, would you tell Braddock I wish to speak to him? I'm gambling that Captain Clark intends following you with the hope that you'll lead him to the Raiders. Otherwise, he'd be taking you prisoner. Telling Randolph to report to you, Colonel, should make him leave town. I think your plan will work. Randolph did just what you expected, Steve. He's riding northeast towards Ghost City. Good work, Kathy. Kathy, you'll find Idaho out behind the barn with some of my men. the men for me. They better take along their horses in case of an emergency. Right. I'll be glad when Burrell don't need the Confederates for a front any longer. Randolph moved back where he came from. I know, but right now he's got to believe he's really the boss, just like he thinks we're taking Clark alive. All right, fellas, come on, let's go. never said nothing about Clark dropping markers so somebody can follow him. You know what this means, Bart? Yeah, cavalry. He put us here to stop one or two. We can't stop him. We ain't gonna try. Maybe we can pick him. We're all set. Good. Clark sits a little way behind me.
down the hall now. Get her in the rooms on both sides, ready for him. 